Hello, this is Daniel Please, my name is Daniel and welcome to a tutorial on how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.13.2. So I already made a tutorial on how to install Optifine for Minecraft 1.13, but back when I recorded that, there was no official release of Optifine for 1.13 or 1.13.1 or 0.2 yet. But now there is, so it's actually become a lot easier and I thought I'd give you an update on this tutorial. So to get started, all you gotta do is go to Google. So you just search for Optifine and it's usually the first one here and you can directly go to downloads or just go to the main website and then to downloads. I'm gonna click downloads uh, straight away and previously it was really hard to find the 1.13 version. It was under preview versions here, which I mean they still exist, but there's uh, full releases that you should be using instead of those preview versions because they still contain bugs and are in development. So the version you probably want is Optifine 1.13.2, what else you wouldn't have clicked this video. So all you got to do is click download, you will be redirected to an AdFly page, usually, not for this one. So all I have to do now is click this link here. Now I get prompted with this, this file can harm your computer, but it will always say that for .jar files, so just click keep, and there we go, it's been downloaded now. So next up, first, before you can ever install Optifine for 1.13.2, you've got to launch Minecraft without Optifine for the right version. So what you do is you minimize whatever you were doing, open up Minecraft, and just start it up for the first time. Note that if you've already done this, then this is going to be really easy because you can just skip this because the files for this version already exist. So as you can see, it's downloading the files and after this is completed, it is going to launch Minecraft and uh, you can just click quit game immediately afterwards and then we can get back to installing Optifine. So if all goes well, Minecraft should just launch automatically and just wait for this Mojang logo to pass and click quit game. There we go. I'm going to quit the game. So now you can go back to your browser or wherever you have this Optifine file and you just click it. It's really that simple. Then you click install. This should automatically uh, be correct. You just hit install. It's going to take two to three seconds and it will say Optifine is successfully installed and it will close itself upon clicking OK. I am just going to launch Minecraft with Optifine now. And um, after that, I'm going to show you how to install shaders on top of Optifine. So here we go. This is Minecraft with Optifine. Just to confirm that you have to go into options, video settings, and in the bottom left corner here, it should say that you are using Optifine. So now we want to install some shaders, of course. So get back to your browsers and look up something like, for example, Silders Vibrant. It's going to redirect you to this official shader page and the one I'm going to download and that's also the one that I did a uh, proper review on a couple of days ago is Silders Enhanced Default. So just go ahead and download this and um, wait for the .zip to download. So the file downloaded, it's right over here. All we've got to do now is go into Options, Video Settings, shaders and actually go into the shaders folder and that is exactly this now all you've got to do is drag this zip file into this folder and if we go back to minecraft now it should say that this can be selected and that is everything that is literally everything so if i were to click done and done and done again and launch a single player world, we should be able to see the actual shader. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you successfully install Optifine and shaders for Minecraft 1.13.2.
I hope you enjoyed this video. If it helped you out, make sure to hit that thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments what you thought of this video and if it managed to help you out on installing either Optifine or Optifine with shaders. So like I said, leave a comment down below what you think of this video and I will of course catch you in the next one. See ya!